material, girl. I had so many ideas for today's video. I'm talking at least seven, you know, could have been more. Oh my gosh, I did not realize I didn't change my pants. Please look at my plant pants. No one speak to me. Anyways, so I was like very inspired and I was like, I did not know what video I want to film today, but I know that I want to film. I've been pumping out the content. Okay, I don't know if you've been noticing. I personally have, but I don't know if you have. Oh, there's an eyelash stuck to my bed. Love that. Anyways, um, I have lots of ideas, lots of things that I want to be doing, lots of content that I want to create for the month of December. Holiday gift guides, gift makeup looks, not gift makeup looks, holiday makeup looks. Um, my jewelry. We're going to be talking about my jewelry. You know, I love a good Amazon jewelry moment, a good Etsy moment. Um, all of the things. But then today I was like, you know what the people really need to see? What they really, truly need to see and understand is how to do your makeup like Charlotte Tilbury. And you may be like, Katie, I, did, I didn't know that I needed that. Well, that's because that you were unaware and I'm here to make you aware. It's my purpose on this earth. So anyways, um, I'm having a little bit of coffee. Okay. I don't know what time it is. I have a watch on, but it's dead. I have so many orders I need to fill. I actually have over 50 orders that I need to be filling. Um, but I'm completely out of packaging supplies and our good friends at Amazon are taking 12 and a half years. And our other good friends at the post office, they were supposed to be delivered today, but they're not. Anyways, let's get into it. My good friend, your good friend, everyone, please have a kind hearted welcome for Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just kidding. She's not here. I'm running away. Anyways, she talks about the importance of skin prep. You know what I mean? She always does. She knows. She is the one, the only, the Charlotte Tilbury. So I either use the Ren Ready Steady Glow AHA toner every day, or who is this? Or I use the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. These. I really like them. I like them. I actually already used one today. You may say, Katie, it's a bit excessive to use two. I would say you're not wrong. But here we are, you know, because I haven't cleansed my face post-workout. Don't judge me. I don't even sweat. I don't know why. I could literally, like, I did Murph, which if you don't know, is like this CrossFit workout. <clears throat> and it's extremely difficult. Didn't sweat. Like, I literally didn't sweat. My pits got a little, little misty. There was no sweat, though. Anyways, the importance, importance of this video is to teach you guys long-lasting makeup tips, how to make your makeup look phenomenal in not only, you know, like, artificial lighting, but also um, real life. Because we don't want to be looking like, I don't know, cakey. So, I can't see myself because I forgot to get a mirror. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's stunning. Then we're going to go in. I We're going to go in. I'm going to go in with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. These here, I'm sure you've seen them. If you haven't, now you have. And they just gives my face a nice little prep, nice little glow. I like niacinamide. It's a nice active ingredient. And the importance of prepping your skin is that if you don't have good skincare to prep your skin, no matter if you have acne, no matter if you have large pores, no matter if you have fine lines, anything like that, or if your skin's totally fine, you want to have a really nice base for your makeup to cling to, for your makeup to sit on top of. If you're going to be putting paint on walls, but you have dirty walls and they're dusty and they have little crusties on them, do you think that paint's going to look good? Be honest with me. You don't. So, same thing with our face. You want the face to be looking snatched. You want the face to be looking right. And and what's the word? Ripe. You want a ripe looking face. By the way, this mug is from Persnickety Jane. You already know. I'm going to go in with my moisturizer. This is the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. You probably already knew that. And you're probably going to be like, Katie, why aren't you using the Magic Cream? Well, that's because the Magic Cream is over there at my other makeup vanity. And uh, I don't want to get up to go get it because it's under a lot of other products. But I do like the Magic Cream. And if I have an event that I'm going to, and it's not just me sitting at my house filling orders and doing nothing, I'll use the Magic Cream. I used it for um, a friend's wedding makeup that I did. Just like any event, you're like, oh, I need my skin to look snatched to the high heavens. I need to look like, you know, I am a newborn. My collagen production is A1. I really recommend that, the, the Magic Cream. I also picked up the Magic Serum and the Light Magic Cream, um, but it's not here yet, so... Obviously, you know what I'm going to go in with. If you don't, you must be new here. Let me introduce you to myself, aka Dermatology Universal Tint Moisturizer and the Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. You already know. I'm going to go in with quite a bit of the Dermatology because it's my SPF. Okay. 
and I don't need to justify why I'm using SPF, obviously. A little bit of the debronzy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've talked about it before. I'll say it again. This just gives me a really nice glowy base. And if I want to put anything on top of it, like any makeup on top of it, it sticks to it really well. If you watch Charlotte Tilbury's makeup tutorials, like on YouTube and on Instagram, she posts quite a few. And then so does Sophia, which is her niece. Um, they just have amazing skin prep. And I feel like that's what goes into making that really like Hollywood flawless look. And I really adore it. So you don't have ne necess <laughs> so you don't necessarily have to have her products to create that. It is obviously like a nice thing, so you can replicate the look exactly. But I think it's also nice to have alternatives to the products that they're using that are maybe an affordable price point, or if you don't have access to their products, this is a uh, a nice way to to re replicate it. I was gonna say recreate, but whatever. Our good friend Charlotte is known for her stunning ability to create flawless makeup looks, and I love that you know i really do i've tried most all of the charlotte tilbury products i think they're phenomenal i think that she's done an amazing job just creating really innovative products as a matter of fact i would like to do a video just on that and she makes things really easy you know she makes it easy to contour easy to put on blush easy to do anything the blush the literal only blush i really ever use is charlotte tilbury's ecstasy blush so this has been going around this is now a tiktok viral and everyone loves it this is the hollywood contour wand from charlotte tilbury so i'm gonna go in with that if you don't have this you absolutely can use other products you can use a cream cream bronzer you can use a concealer in a darker shade you can do whatever your merry heart desires oh dang it i just got way too much so i'm gonna dot don't text me ever again i literally didn't mean to put that much okay I'm going to dot just a tad of this. This is the medium dark color, which is significantly warmer, in my opinion, than the uh, light color. And I'm going to put it where I put my bronzer. So, I put it down the sides of my nose because she want to be snatched. Somebody commented on my video the other day talking about how they were, like, uh, about how I sing about everything in, like, a joking matter. And I was like, honestly, I feel so seen. Don't draw attention to that. Just kidding. I do it all the time. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Morphe brush, which is an A58 brush, and blend this in, which is super, super easy to blend in. Like, look at that. Did you see that? Do I need to replay it? No, because you're gonna see me do it on the other side of my face. Anyway, it just blends in so seamlessly, so nice. It's so easy. And I just feel like that's the way her products are. And that's the way that she wanted everything to be. She's obviously a makeup artist. She's a world renowned. Everyone loves her makeup artist. She has a great personality. She calls everyone darling. And um, her products are just really easy to use. I feel like they're user friendly and no matter what age you are, you can use them and it's not like really cakey makeup. It's not really trendy makeup. It's just makeup for everybody, for every day, for the everyday woman on the go, for the everyday moment, for the everyday glow. She just, she really does something. If I had to pick one brand, I was like, I could never live without this brand for the rest of my life and it couldn't be my brand. I would pick my baby Charlotte's. She goes so hard for no reason. Like, Charlotte, why are you developing products, like, without patents? Baby girl, somebody's gonna snatch it up, you know? Which I'm pretty sure the magic cream is patented. But anyway, it just blends out so easy, like, easy, easy, meh, easily. Like, I'm barely putting any pressure, and I'm just kind of going in, like, random motions to play around with it and see the color pigment and the payoff that I get from it. And it's so stunning. For what? It is so hot in our room. I wish you could understand. Like, I wish you could understand the literal pain that I'm going through right now. This is partially a tutorial, partially... I don't know what. I just admire Charlotte and her abilities to do what she does. And the ability to create incredibly innovative products in a, such a saturated market. And for that, I will always respect her. Like, I literally don't come at me with Charlotte Tilbury hate because me and you will be throwing... I can't say that. They're going to demonetize me again. Me and you will be mad at each other. I'm pretty sure that I got demonetized because I said me and somebody will be T-H-R-O-W-I-N-G-P-U-N-C-H-E-S. And uh, I was literally just kidding, not actually talking about anybody. And I got demonetized. <laughs> Please let me make money, YouTube. I'm taking that that contour slash bronzer. I put it on the back of my hand. And I'm just kind of going in with my contour brush. And blending it up into my eyebrows, which I talked about this in my glam video. If you haven't seen that, you should go watch it. 
I break down everything step by step. But I feel like the whole Charlotte Tilbury process is making everything look very airbrushed, very diffused, and just very glam, but in the most casual way. She's just kind of perfected that really glam, but casual look, and I love that. I do have like more of a medium skin tone. I'm extremely pale for my own self. My chest is always pale because she stays covered. But my chest is, um, or I'm usually tan. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I really have no idea what I was trying to get at. I think that I'm just saying like I'm usually a medium skin tone. So I'm using the medium dark. And um, the other one is definitely more court, cool toned. But I like this color best on me. I also like, like some people do not like that it's in a sponge tip applicator, such as this. I don't have an issue with it at all. Matter of fact, I really like it. I don't have to dip my brush into it because getting brush hairs in product is one of my pet peeves, if not the biggest pet peeve I have about makeup. Also, I love how easy Charlotte makes it to have a, an entire look like in a palette. Like this is her Walk of No Shame palette. It's stunning. I'm really excited to use this on my eyes because I have green eyes. And they say that like reddish tones look great because it's the opposite of the color wheel. And I feel like she does a good job of that too, is like playing around with things for her celebrity makeup clients that maybe another makeup artist wouldn't do. They'd stay with like the matte neutral colors, but this is, it's just nice to see a makeup artist do that. So a makeup trick that I've been doing that I really have been lacking a whole lot is doing my bronzer or my contour first and then going in with my concealer. So I will put on my concealer and I do it in the highlighted areas because I feel like, I mean, if you see one of Ariel makeup by Ariel or you see Mario's clients, like you can tell that they're the ones who did that makeup because they have a specific kind of um, artistry. And I feel like Charlotte does as well. Like you could show me 10 pictures of different makeup artists and I can pick out Charlotte Tilbury's very easily. She doesn't do a super bright under eye, which I kind of like because I feel like that makes her different. But she does a very lifted eye. It's always a very cat eye, lifted, very diffuse, not a lot of color look. But if she does color, it's in like the classiest, most beautiful way. And it's always very, very um, complimenting. Or it's, is that the right term? It's complimentative. I don't know if that's an actual word, but let's pretend like it is. It's always very complimentative of that person's facial structure as well as their um, skin tone, their eye color, all the things. So I just feel like they really, the Charlotte Tilbury artist and Charlotte Tilbury herself, um, do a really good job of just studying clients' faces and their features and their eye colors, their skin tones and all the things. And they have such a wide array of products as well. So that's what I've been doing is whenever I do my concealer and I add this little line out here and I leave it for just a second, it gives me that lifted look. So rather than having like the huge, you know, V's that people used to do, I bring it down the side of my nose, like so, and then out. So see where that kind of cut my concealer just a little bit, or not cut my concealer, cut my bronzer just a little bit, and added all that light? I love that. I need to cover up this red mark. So same thing on the other side, and I bring this side down, so I have more pigment on the side of my nose to catch the light, make my nose look a little slimmer. And then take this concealer out. And I just take it straight out, like right under my eyebrow. And it just gives me more of a lifted and illuminated look. I love Charlotte's looks because they're the perfect balance between matte and like a natural radiant finish. So I don't think I've ever seen anything from her that was like extremely dewy or anything. But I still love a dewy look. But for the sake of the video, I do want like more of a natural matte radiant kind of look. Um, so that's what we're going to go for. Okay, so for blush, I have two blushes. Actually, I have quite a few blushes from Charlotte Tilbury. But I'm going to use this cream one, which everyone has been raving about. And it is a really nice blush. Um, this is the Pinkgasm wand from Charlotte Tilbury. And I feel like she always... That's a lot. She always puts it on the tip tops of the cheeks. Maybe a little bit on the nose. But I feel like it's always very um, in a lifting kind of manner. So I'm going to go on with my beauty sponge. And tap that in. And you know what I never see the Charlotte Tilbury artist using? And like maybe it's just me and I'm overlooking it. But I never see them using sponges. It's always fingers or brushes. I don't know what the deal is. I couldn't, could not, hear me out. Literally could not live without my beauty sponge. I feel like that just adds a really nice beautiful radiance to the face. I'm also going to do a little bit here. So it looks like I'm sun-kissed. I always feel like her looks kind of give off that vibe. And I want to keep everything pretty monochromatic. And then I got in the mail yesterday 
from Charlotte Tilbury, the um, highlight wand or the beauty light wand, and this is in the shade Spotlight. So it's a highlighter and it's a stunning highlighter. I got like the pack of three where they had the contour, the blush, and the highlighter. That is way too much and I did not mean to do that. But I always like to warm a highlighter up with my finger just because I'm just that way and I feel like I have a little bit more control and it looks a little bit more diffused and a little bit better. So I'm going to hit the high points of my cheek, hit the bridge of my nose, again on the other cheek. And you can see just like how glowy and stunning it looks. A little bit on the chin and then a little between the brows and above the brows. So I'm gonna blend that out. And I feel like as, as far as face goes, this is a very, very signature Charlotte Tilbury face. I don't know what's up with my shirt. It just keeps like gaping. Anyway, this is a very, very Charlotte Tilbury face. It looks very nice and natural and pretty, but it's also got like that little pop of color and it's just nice. In true Charlotte Tilbury fashion, I am going to be using the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And I'm going to dip into it. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped out my coffee. I'm going to be dipping into it with the um, Morphe A22, Morphe and Ariel A22 brush. Barely dusting. Just under my eyes and a little bit on my cheeks. Because I've been wearing Bottom Lash Mascara. Which I also feel like is a very Charlotte Tilbury thing. I kind of just go around different makeup artists. But usually Charlotte, usually Ariel. Um, some different ones and kind of look at their looks and how they do things. And I saw a look the other day from a makeup artist and she had a bottom lash mascara on quite a bit and it was, it was really pretty. So I was like, I should try that. But this is the Charlotte Tilbury Ecstasy Blush. Stunning. I use it literally always. And I'm going to pop it on the top of my cheeks as well. Okay, now I'm going to jump into this palette, which is obviously for my eyes. This is the Walk of No Shame palette. Like I said, here's what it looks like. And I wanted to use this because I never use shades like this. I always go for something very classic. But I figured since it was like a Charlotte Tilbury video, I wanted to do something that she would do. And I feel like if she was doing my makeup, she would either do like a really bronze goddess look. But I kind of wanted to try something different. So I wanted to use this. And also, I never see anyone use this palette. So I was like, let's get outside the box. Okay, so like I said, she always does very diffused eyes. So it may pack on some color. Like this palette is obviously full of deeper redder redder is that a word I don't know red colors but it would never be like red all over the eye it would be something very worked in or like a lived in kind of look um so I really appreciate that and I like that about her artistry and I feel like that's how you're able to pick it out so I'm gonna go in with the enhance shade so I like that she does that too she has the prom enhance pop and smoke I guess I'll go in with the prom shade first and do it like Miss Tilbury and Tins also, I just really like her personality and the fact that she, you can tell that a lot of passion and um, pride goes into her products. Like, you can tell that the woman works hard, you know? She works hard to make her products and to create things that people would like. And I just have respect for anybody who does that, but especially a makeup artist who faces a ton of criticism. I just think that's an admirable quality. Now I'm going to go into the Enhanced Shade, which is that ready ish copper shade. And just use it as my transition crease shade and barely use it. But I still want to use it enough to where it like gives me some color payoff. I feel like her palettes blend like a dream. All of them, I have quite a few. They all blend like a dream. They're very easy to travel with because, I mean, even if you want to pack like three palettes, it doesn't even take up as much room as one normal palette usually does. Um, so I really like that about hers. It just is easy, you know, and it's like, you have your instant, I think it's actually called an instant eye look in a palette, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Or maybe they're like their luxury palettes. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, it is an instant look in a palette because you have everything you would need right there. And it's just really easy to work with. Really easy to blend. Extremely beginner friendly. I have emailed Charlotte Tilbury's team so many times and said, not so many. I think I've like twice. But I've emailed them and been like, hey, I would love to work with you on a video because there's not a single product that I've tried from her that I'm like... I don't think that's worth the money. It's just like not that good. I really don't. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not, I don't think I've tried anything that's like, oh no, that's not, you know, that's not good. There are things like I wouldn't personally use, like the Airbrush Flawless, Flawless Finish um, Foundation that's like completely matte, but I can still have an appreciation for it because it's a gorgeous foundation. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to go in with this darker shade right here and then I'm going to pop that, I think it's actually called the Pop Shade on top of that. But I'm barely going to use any of this, I think. Let me switch brushes. I'm going to go into the 
A20 brush to use this one just because I want um, a little bit less of this color and apply it to the outer corners. But you can kind of see, even if you're like not an expert at blending eyeshadow, even if you're not an expert at doing makeup in general, her the way that her formula is for her shadows just kind of makes everything blend together really nicely. And you don't really have an option but to make it look good because it just kind of looks good on its own, which I appreciate. Okay, I love that. I think that looks actually really, really nice. And I'm surprised that I'm like so in love with this because I was a little scared. I'm gonna take that pop shade on my finger. They're meant to be used with your finger and dot it all over the eyes. That looks really stunning. I like that a whole lot. I always forget how much I like to wear eyeshadow until I do my eyeshadow and then I'm like, oh, I'm pretty good at makeup. Does anybody else do that or is it just me? I'm gonna go with this brush. This is from Morphe and Ariel again. This is the A29 brush. And I'm gonna dip into basically all the shades and diffuse it out on the lower lash line because I usually really like the way that that looks. Um, and I think it'll make my eyes pop. And also, Charlotte always does this. So I kind of lift it up as she would, going into the outer corner of the top um, eyeshadow. So you can kind of see. I'm dragging it up to meet the other eyeshadow and blending it down. And then if you're like, oh, I don't like that color, or oh, I don't um, wanted it to be that, I don't want it to be that much, you can just take another brush that you used a different color on or the clean brush and kind of diffuse it out even more. But I occur encourage you to just play around and see what you like because as soon as you get your mascara and stuff on, it does look a little bit different. Um, so just play around with it. See what you like. See what you think might be cool. I'm going to get off here and put on my um, mascara as well as do my eyebrows. For my eyebrows, I have a video on it if you haven't seen it. It's not that long ago, maybe like a month ago or something. But it tells you all the details on how I do my products or how I do my brows. But all the products will be listed down below in the description box as well if you're curious as to what I use. Um, the mascara that I'm going to be using is the Ilia Fullest Volume Mascara. I cannot stop using this. It's literally so stinking good. Um, I love it so much. But I do love the Charlotte Tilbury, the new Pillow Talk Lashes. I love that so much. But um, it is a little bit harder to get off your lashes even though it does amazing things for your lashes, it is a little bit harder to get off and I have to take my makeup off, makeup off pretty soon and I don't wanna be tugging at my lashes too much. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back to you all with the lip and with my final thoughts about complexion and all the good things. So that's what's gonna happen, BRB. Okay, well I'm back and I feel quite confident in my look. I think it looks really, really good and I would never ever in a million years have done this, but I did. And so, um, I'm really excited about it. So, I, like I said, I just did my eyebrows and then I did my mascara. I told you guys which one I used. So, now I'm going to do my lips. Obviously, I'm going to use a Charlotte Tilbury um, liner. I'm probably going to use Pillow Talk because it is so world-renowned. Everyone loves Pillow Talk liner. It's the number one selling lip liner in North America, which I think is crazy. Go, Charlotte. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I use this uh, Walk of No Shame eyeliner in my waterline, top and bottom. So now I'm gonna use this lip liner. Okay, I actually got this new lipstick that they sent. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips and this is in the shade Glowing Gin. So this is after Jennifer Aniston, which is cute. And this is the Hot Lips. I don't know if I said that, I don't think I did, but this is the Hot Lips. Um, and this is the shade. So it's a pretty rosy, browny shade. It's cute. And I I'm gonna try it, but then I'm probably gonna top it with a staple from Fawn Beauty. Just because I always wear gloss. But I'll dab this on. Okay, this is really pretty. I do feel like my green eyes look so green. I mean, I have more hazel eyes than green, I guess. But, man, are they popping. Like, really popping. They look phenomenal. Okay. I like this, but this is not a lip that I would wear, like, on the normal every day. It's just, like, not my journey. I feel like it's too... I don't know. So I'm going to go in with a staple from Fawn Beauty, which actually, if you don't know, I created this shade because Pillow Talk is like one of my favorite colors in the entire world. I love the lip liner. I love everything about it. I love the undertones. And so I wanted to create a shade that was just like that from Fawn Beauty, obviously, which is my makeup brand. But I wanted to put it in my lip gloss formula because I'm not, like, I feel like every time I talk about Fawn Beauty, people are like, oh, she's talking about her brand again, blah, blah. But literally, if it was not the best, I would not talk about it. Like, you don't think that I would go reformulate and like redo literally everything and be like oh this is not the best anymore like we're gonna do better no it literally is the best 
So anyway, that's where a staple came from is because I wanted it to be like um, Pillow Talk. I just wanted to have it in my formula because I like my formula better than every other formula I've ever tried. So that's where it came from and that's how it originated. So I'm gonna go with a staple. It's also the top selling lip gloss from Fawn Beauty. Everyone, everyone loves a staple. Okay, that's stunning. That is so pretty. I cannot even tell you how much I like my eyes. And I was just like so not expecting to love them like I do. Like I knew that it was a really pretty eyeshadow palette. But I didn't think I was going to be like, oh my gosh, this is literally everything. But it really is. Like it looks so good. So moral of the story, Charlotte Tilbury does her makeup. Or not her makeup, but she does client's makeup. And she does makeup in a way that is incredibly airbrushed. Incredibly flawless and smooth. And just really beautiful. And she enhances everyone's natural features. She enhances your cheekbones. She'll enhance your, whether you have lower cheekbones or higher cheekbones. Or you have... I don't know, sparse brows or whatever it is. It's just like your face, but enhanced. Like all of your features just up a little notch. You know what I mean? And so all of her makeup looks, like I said, is based off, I feel like very, they're very personal. So if you have green eyes, blue eyes, brown eyes, whatever, it's going to be catered towards that. And so I feel like, or I hope at least, that you guys learned that that's what she does. And it's just more so about catering to you rather than making you look like somebody else. And so that's why I love her. That's why I love her brand. That's why I think that her products work really well and they sell really well is because they're user-friendly. People love them. They are really good products. They last a long time. They're worth the money, in my opinion. They have great customer service because I've had to use their customer service before. Um, there's a reason that they're so popular and there's a reason that everyone likes Charlotte Tilbury and her products sell out all the time and they go viral all the time is because she has some really, really good hero products. So that's my opinion. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something. I know that I rambled a whole lot, but honestly, like it was just a rambling day. You know what I mean? So that's where I'm at in my life. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know um, by liking the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I think that's it. Everything that I use will be linked down below as well as, um, well, no. Everything that I use will be linked down below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the uh, comments and I'll get back to you. Let me know what you like from Charlotte Tilbury. Let me know what your favorite products are. Um, if you used any Charlotte Tilbury products in the past that wasn't your favorite, um, I'll be happy to try those out and give them a go. The only thing I haven't tried from Charlotte Tilbury is the perfume. And I actually got a sample of it one time, but I don't own the perfume, which if you know me, that's kind of crazy because I own a lot of perfumes. But anyway, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you have a fabulous day. Charlotte Tilbury, do you want to be my friend?